This time so in this video, we are looking at vaccinations. So some pathogens can kill you before your body can make the right antibodies. But fortunately, you can be protected against these serious illnesses by being immunized. And this is a type of vaccination. Now in a vaccination, small amounts of dead or inactive pathogens are put into your body by injection. Now this small amount of pathogen means that our white blood cells can develop the right types of antibodies without you becoming ill. Now if you meet the live pathogens, your white blood cells can then respond rapidly and they can make the correct antibodies. And this is because of a vaccination. So if we do a timeline, first of all, what happens is small amounts of dead or inactive pathogens are put into your body. The antigens in the vaccine then stimulate your white blood cells into making antibodies. And then these antibodies destroy the pathogens without any risk of disease. And this means that you are immune to future infection from the same pathogen because your body can make the correct antibody rapidly. So there are many pros to vaccination as vaccines have helped control lots of infectious diseases, which were once very common in the UK. So these include things like whooping cough, polio and tetanus. Epidemics and pandemics can also be prevented if a large percentage of a population has a vaccination. But this does mean that a large percentage must be vaccinated, otherwise you can still have epidemics and pandemics if say only 50% of the population are vaccinated. There are also some negatives of vaccination. So for example, vaccines don't always work and sometimes they don't give you immunity. And some people also have serious reactions to a vaccine like swelling or a seizure. These however are very rare and it is safer if everyone gets vaccinated because the potential effects of not being vaccinated are far worse. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.